The way I like to think about home equity shares is like the stock market. The way I like to think about home equity shares is like the stock market where people can go and buy stock in a company. They're buying a small portion of ownership in the company in exchange for cash. Now you own a home and there are investors out there that would like to buy a portion of the equity in your home in exchange for cash. And that's how it works is an investor will give you cash for equity in your home. And the, the thing that people get excited about is there's no payment attached with that. In a more traditional cash out refinance, you would have a monthly payment associated with the cash that you're getting back here. They're giving you money for the equity in your home and they'll get their investment back uh, when you sell your home or when the term comes to an end and you have to, to refinance and pay them back for the equity in your home that they do own. Home equity shares are more active in areas that have more equity. So you think about uh, the California market where you have higher value homes that have gone up in value a ton. And there's lots of this equity that's up for grabs and people can't access it, right? You can't just have $200,000 of equity in your home and just take it out. You have to go through a lender. There's a process there where this is uh, literally getting cash for the equity of your home. And so they tend to happen in markets um, where there's more equity. The investors that are doing the home equity shares are also looking for neighborhoods that have appreciation potential. They're looking for the markets that have more opportunity for appreciation. So that's something that dictates uh, where they're happening as well. Homeowners should be cautious of them because for most people, the equity in their home is one of the largest things that contributes to their net worth. And they're giving up a piece of that. And so they really need to uh, be cautious of doing that one, just as a, a general decision to choose to take the home that you live in and your loved ones live in, uh, in choosing to give a portion of it to an investor right? Like you're, you're letting, it, it is, it is a gratifying feeling to own your own home. Uh, I, I know how that is. And I, I know how much that means to people. And you're taking some of that away when you're giving a portion of that ownership to someone else. The other thing you need to be cautious of are the terms of which you're giving the equity, because there's a lot of things that make it better for the investor than it is the homeowner. Because look, the investors know you're, you're taking a not as good deal for the convenience of the cash, right? So the investor's taking on risk and they're gonna make sure those terms uh, make sense for them. So some things to look out for, some things to be cautious of is the actual equity deal. So some of these deals will give you cash for say 15% of the equity, but are actually gonna take 20% of the equity. Some of them will look to maybe give you a value that is less than what you could get on the market. And so if you could sell your home for 500,000, you should watch out that the uh, equity share partner isn't valuing your house at a lower amount because that instantly uh, gives them a return on their investment, right? If they come in at a lower equity amount. And those are the things you wanna look out for is making sure you, that you really understand the agreement that's in place. Because there are a lot of interesting real estate options out there, but we see people making mistakes because they didn't totally understand the agreement in its entirety and what it meant for the, the length of the agreement. When you go to some of the websites of the companies that offer uh, these home equity shares, they're very clean and they look fantastic and they look like something you can trust. And I'm sure people kind of move through the process, trusting the company that's doing the home equity share program with them without truly understanding what it really means for them. Uh, alternatives to home equity shares are your traditional cash out refinance, or your home equity line of credit. 
Um, but the thing is with all of those is that you have to apply for credit with the bank. And that's where home equity shares come in because there are people that have say equity in their home, but don't have a great credit score. They have equity in their home, but they lost their job. And the bank is not gonna give someone a loan who doesn't have current income. Even if they do have this great equity in their home, they can't access it without showing an ability to pay a loan back. Um, and so that's where home equity shares come in. Look, the pro of a home equity share is that there are a lot of people with great equity in, in their home that don't qualify for a more traditional program. I think about someone who, you know, when COVID hit, that they lost their job and started a business, for instance, right? And say the business is doing pretty well, uh, they don't have enough income, they're self-employed. It's harder to get a, a refinance even though the equity is there because the income isn't stable. And so they may need money to invest in a good business um, and they can use home equity shares to do that. My problem with home equity shares is I worry that that won't be the case for a lot of home equity share situations. It will be someone that is in dire straits and needs the cash and they're gonna give up uh, equity in their home for something that, you know, maybe there was a better solution for.